We're learning new details about a horrifying incident that happened last month in Texas when a woman allegedly attempted to drown a three-year-old Palestinian Muslim girl in an apartment complex swimming pool. Officials say 42-year-old Elizabeth Wolf, who was apparently very intoxicated, made racist remarks to the child's mother, who was wearing a hijab, questioning where she was from and making comments about her not being American, before asking whether the two children playing in the pool were hers. She then tried to grab one of them, a six-year-old boy, who was able to get away. And when the mother went to help her son, Wolf allegedly grabbed the three-year-old girl and forced her underwater. She also allegedly snatched the mother's hijab off her head while she was trying to save her daughter and beat her with it. Wolf is now out on bond, if you can believe it, despite being charged with attempted capital murder and injury to a child. And police are recommending the incident be treated as a hate crime. Joining me now is Shaima Zayan, operations manager for the Council on Islam American Islamic Relations in Austin, Texas. Thank you for being here. Um, Ms. Zayan, let me read just from you the statement from the mom, uh, who is not being named out of, for her own safety from a care press release. We are American citizens, originally from Palestine, and I don't know where to go to feel safe with my kids. My country is facing a war, and we are facing that hate here. My daughter is traumatized. Whenever I open the apartment door, she runs away and hides, telling me she is afraid the lady will come and immerse her head in the water again. Um, how is this woman out on bond? Uh, that what happened, and uh, I think that's why we are concerning uh, uh, we ask for a higher bond uh, just for the safety of the whole community, not only this family only. Uh, they are definitely traumatized. They still have some safety concern. Um, I can see that the mother is uh, healing because of the community support that she can see now, uh, you know, when this incident went out to the media. Uh, she's feeling more empowered. She was able to go outside by herself for the first time last Saturday, actually, without anyone with her. Uh, and that was the first time since the incident. The, the, I mean, the reports of this just get worse and worse. This woman was cuffed and taken away by the police. Um, the, the attacker reportedly then shouted to a bystander woman who was calming the mother down, saying, tell her I will kill her and I will kill her whole family. Um, yeah. it, it, it seems shocking to me that, you know, while uh, you know, authorities are saying it should be treated as a hate crime, this woman seems to have been treated with relatively kid gloves, bonded out very quickly. It's... How is the community reacting to that? Uh, what really shocked me with this incident, uh, Joy, is the violence and uh, the amount of entitlement this uh, women acted with. Um, if you hear the mom, you know, telling the story that the grip, the whole, you know, the, how she hold the, the, the daughter thighs, uh, leaving bruises for days on her thighs after the incident, uh, snitching the hijab uh, of the mom, beating her with the hijab, kicking her in the water, and even pulling her swimsuit and to the level that she ripped off the, the, the zipper in the back and exposed his body, her body. Uh, the entitlement, how she treated these kids as, as if they are her own property and she has a right to destroy them. And um, not only threatening the mom, um, you know, that she, she will kill her and kill her family, uh, but also uh, but also she was really upset that other people stand by the, the, the mother. She was telling them, how come you stand by her? While I am the American person, my parents and my grandparents were born here. So uh, she has a she has a, her own, I think, unique definition of being American. Wow. Um, yeah, there's a you, the CARE has released a report showing over 8,000 complaints nationally last year of anti-Muslim uh, violence uh, and uh, hate crimes, et cetera, and threats since the um, Israel-Hamas uh, war began, a 56 increase since 2022. So it is it is uh, it is a problem nationwide. But I guess my final question would be: uh, These children uh, must be very very traumatized. We've heard what the little girl is afraid to come to the door, um, but I'm sure the little boy is also traumatized too because he's also a, a little kid. So how is the family doing in general? The mom, you said, has been able to go out on her own, but how are the children doing? Yeah, uh, the mom is also, um, from what I have seen, I, I'm, I'm in contact with her, calling her every day, sometimes multiple yeah. times um, a day. Um, she, she's still like remembering details from the incident and crying, and but then feels empowered and grateful for yeah. people who help. Like the African-American person, you know, the man who listened to her and came and rescued the girl, she, she, she would tell me like, Without him, you know, I would yeah. just lose my, my girl and who knows, maybe she would even kill my, my son and me. 
uh, after. It's uh, horrifying. Grateful for and the please, lady. Yeah. Yeah. Please wish her well and, and tell her that our thoughts are with her here at the Readout family. Thank mm -hmm. you, Shaima, Zayan. Thank you so, Thank you so much. much. Thank you. We'll be right back. Thank you.